Hello everyone, my name is Beck and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I haven't posted a video in over two weeks. I actually have a legitimate excuse this time. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I'm still a little bit sick. I'm at the tail end of my illness. Um, I've gone through like three tissue boxes. Because of me, my entire family is sick, but I'm getting better. So I feel like the only way you can get better. I just think this to other people which sounds really bad. I constantly will change um, the display case of this. I don't know what exactly I'm trying to do with this. But anyway, without further ado, I do have some packages that I've been hoarding for a while. I've had this for over a week. Um, I know exactly what it is. I also have two more Vita games to place that order last Thursday and it got shipped out on Friday. It is currently Wednesday and I'm hoping to either get it today or just sometime within the week. Now this has caused some controversies because people were not happy about me buying this game for some reason. I don't know. I always like unboxing stuff from ED. Even though their shipping is really expensive, sometimes it doesn't ship out until like a whole week later but this was really cheap so I was willing to wait for it. Oh! Guess what? I'm a level 2 member now. They sent me my membership card. I actually had two accounts and then they merged it together and I became level 2 almost instantly because I did buy a Wii U and... Yeah, but I did buy my Wii U and my PS4 at EV Games so I earned a bunch of points there. So I'm finally level 2. But let's marvel at the fact that I got Okami HD for the PS4 for $9. And why did I get controversy over this? It was because this game will be released on the Switch sometime in August this year and people were kind of giving me grief over that because you get the better version on the Switch but it's $9. And I mean I had a guy who kept messaging me telling me that there will be, there's going to be a port for this game for the Switch on almost on a daily basis when I told people that it was like $9 for the PS4. I have played it on the Wii a long time ago, so I do know a little history about it. I just love the artwork and for my university, one of my essays, I had to talk about Asian culture influences in games and I guess I wrote a topic about Okami. If anybody wants to read that, I can send it to you, but I did <laughs> do an academic essay on this game. <laughs> It was just to get some credit points. I got Akami here on the PS4 for $9! But I did pay $9.06 for the shipping. It was express. There was no option. I would have chose standard shipping because I didn't open this up until like a whole week later. So I actually, I'm going to pop it in the PS4 as I continue to film because I know that this will definitely have an update. So we're going to utilize our time practice. I don't know if you can hear my PS4 like buzzing away, but it's pretty loud and working as hard as. I don't have a pro, I just have the standard PS4. I think it said five or six hours to update. And my Monster Hunter World is also updating at the same time because there's an event. Yeah, I think there's an event this week. Monster Hunter. I do not hate the Switch. I have one here, but I don't understand why people were so mad about me picking up the PS4 version instead of the Switch. If the Switch version was cheaper than this, I mean, I don't understand the whole concept of console wars and whatnot, and obviously FPS whatnot will be a lot better on the Switch and blah blah blah, but for me, I will always pay the lower price and it's not too far off anyway. I understand if you don't have a PS4 or the original Wii version and you want it on the Switch, I completely 100% support that decision. It's your money, you can do whatever you want with it. And I also have that right. And I interpret it as people who are trying to look out for me. And I don't mean this in a very shady way, but it just comes off as really annoying because I have multiple people telling me that it's gonna come on the Switch and why I didn't buy the Switch version. And I just wanna like clarify here that it was $9. <laughs> it ain't that deep, it was $9. I'm going to check my bail box now because I think enough time has passed and I'm hoping that I get some parcels today but it might not happen. It doesn't feel like it's gonna happen but let's check. I look like trash today but I just can't be bothered. I just came home from work and um, it's really messy down there. I hope the camera doesn't flip back down. I don't know what it's doing but this is a new tripod wanting to face plant everything that I put onto it. That's what I get for buying a Tindall. It looks like it's moving. Oh no, it is. 
Why can't I get a normal tripod? Stay there. Anyway, so my parcel finally came. I was hoping that it'll come on Wednesday. It didn't come on Wednesday. It came on Friday, which is still pretty fast. Stop moving. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! I got two PS Vita games. Very, very exciting. One of them's upside down. Oh my god, it keeps moving. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so I got these two. I got retired that tripod. I've given up on it. Like, this is the remnants of it. It's pink. That's why I bought it in the first place. But it keeps falling apart. Um, I'm currently using two large boxes to hold the camera. I got the Chaos Child. I think that is the name. It's also an anime, apparently. I don't know anything. I don't watch anime, so I don't know anything about it. Um, but apparently the anime was pretty crappy. I don't know. I was watching a bunch of reviews before I decided to buy it. This was on sale for like $25. It went down to $20, and I thought that this is a pretty good bargain considering the prices keep dropping. Um, it was the only copy left in the store and I decided to pick it up anyway because I was looking for PS Vita games to buy. Apparently the physicals are gonna run out by the end of 2019 so I decided just to, you know, grab as much as I could for the PS Vita games. I've seen some screenshots of this game, it looks very dark. I have played Steinscapes before and it's kind of like a darker version of that game which I'm pretty intrigued by. I did manage to see some spoilers when I was watching a review, but it's very grotesque and I can't wait to play it. I need something to balance the sweetness of it all. Could realize Future Blessing. I know there's a PS4 edition, which is a different title. They both came out at the same time. I don't know, I don't know what that is called, but I'll put it up here somewhere. That one's actually sold out. I was gonna be at both of them, but then again, it's a little bit too expensive to buy them all at once, but I, I, I'm I currently on a spending spree this month, so I did buy a couple of games. And I also bought this game yesterday, don't remember the name. Um, it was on sale for $19. I've seen some of the YouTubers I follow do a review on it, and it was pretty cheap. I've never played this type of game before, but it was on sale for $19, and I thought I might as well pick it up. I did buy it online, so I have to wait a couple of days for it to come, but... I did buy it yesterday and I did have to pay shipping again. I could have bought Okami and that at the same time but the sales were not during the same phase. It came like a week after each other so I paid like shipping twice which is like kind of painful but it's still cheaper than buy it, buying that copy everywhere else. I actually went to EB Games yesterday to try to find it after work but it was all sold out near my local one, my workplace one and on the way home I did go out to buy some dinner and I tried to look for that EB, it was like late, late night shopping yesterday because it was Thursday so all EB game stores closed at 9pm couldn't find it there the employee was nice enough to try to find like to hold a copy for me somewhere else and driving at an hour and a half is equivalent of me paying that $9 shipping so I might as well just pay that $9 shipping and I can't be bothered to take public transport to all the way to get a $19 game I did play the previous game which is the Guardian one I thought it was like out of all the visual novels, I guess that one was the best and I quite liked it so I'm gonna pick this one. These two are hopefully gonna be easy plaque. I am a trophy hunter. I'm so addicted to looking for trophies but if anybody is interested, he's back. It's the same characters from before so I do have an idea of who they are. Don't know when I'll play it exactly. I played a little bit of Okami and I really liked it. It looks a lot better. I don't remember ever finishing it on the Wii because I was pretty young. It's just this. This one's the code real life. Just a chip, no information books whatsoever, but here it is. It's the green one. I don't know if anybody's grossed out by this, but I don't even need a pair of scissors because my nails are sharp enough. Anybody knows anything about this game, it is quite disturbing. But I'm not gonna lie. Um, this game does make me feel a little bit sick because I did see like screenshots of it. But I'm looking forward to playing it because I actually love horror. I don't particularly like gore but I do like murder mysteries and horrors and stuff like that. But I don't know how much I'm gonna... When you import games from Europe they have this ugly stickers like plastered all over it and you can't even rip it off. The Australian ones are so nice. When you buy an Australian game it's like down here it's not too invasive it's just down there it says m 
while this one is just all plastered on the PS Vita. I don't know. Do I have a PS Vita game? Yeah, my, mine's are all Asian copies, so there wouldn't be. This is really annoying. Why can't they be like this? Anyway, let's open it. There's no like OH and S safety booklets for any of these anymore. There used to be at least like a thin piece of paper for these. So I got these two PS Vita games. Can't wait to play them tonight. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this month's pickup videos. Um, by the time that one comes, it will probably like. I'll show it in my favorites video. I, it gave me a rough estimation that it will come on Wednesday, and then I'll show you guys during my favorites videos, which I will film on the first of June. But anyway, that's it for today, and I hope you enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and leave a comment down below if you have anything you like to say. Give me a sub if you like to continue to support my content or see anything from me. Anyway, I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.